by the early afternoon of Friday, Beaurere, March 31st, the atmosphere across the central United States had grown increasingly unstable. Temperatures surged into the mid 70s and low 80s across parts of the Mississippi Valley, while dew points climbed well into the 60s, a clear sign of rich gulf sourced moisture. Across Missouri, Iowa, and Arkansas, satellite imagery showed towering cumulus clouds beginning to break through the cap that thin layer of warm air that usually suppresses storm formation. It would not take long for these clouds to explode into rotating supercells. At around 12.45 p.m. Central Daylight Time, the first tornado warnings were issued in eastern Iowa as a fast developing supercell began showing signs of rotation on radar near Wapello County. Moments later, a confirmed tornado touched down near the town of Ottawa. This tornado would quickly grow in strength and size carving a damaging path